So someone asked me which one of us is the real boss. Uh, well, obviously I'm the boss because I'm the president of the company. Well, I'm older. Well, I mean, I have a shop and everything where everything that we make at home is at my house. Well, I design all the houses on my computer at my house. Well, if I didn't go get my license and license this company, then how would we build it all? Well, I've got the checkbook. Hey there, welcome to the Perkins Builder Brothers channel. We are almost done framing on our project here, but in order to really finish up, we have to do a bunch of special blocking before the insulation and drywall go in. So we've made a long list of all the types of blocking that we need, and uh, we're gonna show you our list, and then we're gonna go through it and check each one. We're also gonna talk to the homeowner and see where they want certain things mounted, like towel bars, toilet paper holders. It's a lot of blocking. Most of these things are pretty common, but there's a few that you may not think of. And if you're remodeling or building something for yourself, you probably want to go down the same checklist before you get the drywall done to make sure you have the blocking everywhere you need it. We really prefer to have a screw going into some framing instead of using a drywall anchor. Before we go in here, I would add, and this is speaking from experience, that you should videotape and or take good notes about the placement of all this blocking in the walls before you cover it up. Here we go. All right, let's check out all the blocking. We'll start in the kitchen. We've got blocking for the top of the bottom cabinets. We have blocking for the bottom and the top of the upper cabinets. And here's a quick trick for doing blocking for cabinets if you have a lot of stud bays that you need to block and those stud bays are of varying width so that you don't have to measure them all. First, snap a string line. Next, screw a board to the wall and mark each stud space and then label each one so that you can get the blocking back in the right place. You can then cut each block and it'll be just right and super fast. Okay, flat screen TV mounting bracket blocking. Here it is. Two by tens, five feet off the floor. Five foot to center. Who doesn't love TV? I do. So other things that are super important, obviously we got power, we have coax, we also have a conduit that's going to run down uh, out of this box so you can run HDMI to your media uh, stuff over here. So we have towel bar blocking here, we've got one for an upper bar and a lower bar so they can have plenty of towel storage. Alright, this is super important, toilet paper holders. About 26 inches is where I normally put them, so we have blocking above and below. All right, we're in the master shower. This blocking right here is for the vinyl shower pan liner to have some support so it doesn't fold out in between the studs everywhere. Blocking for vanity cabinets. Here we are in the master closet. All the closets that have hanging space are gonna have a rod and shelf, and this area right here will provide a nice solid place for me to screw the bracket to the wall. All right, we're gonna double stack the closet shelves here. So there'll be a, a shelf and rod at 40 inches, and there'll be one at 80 inches. So we did blocking top and bottom. Wow. Lights. Like a raccoon. <laughs> I'm still seeing dots, okay? But all right, we have a special spot right here where we're gonna have a skirt board coming down on the side of the stairs. Let me get in here. It's gonna be about this high. And then it's gonna transition from a skirt right there to a baseboard. Okay? Good spot to nail your skirt and your base. Perfect. All right, so the homeowner has a very special picture they want to hang on the wall. So we made sure to put solid blocking in so that it'll be attached very well. This happens all the time. All the time. All right, the handrail has to fall between 34 and 38 inches off the toe of the step. So we have installed our blocking here at 36 and above and below so that we have solid blocking for our handrail brackets to mount to. When you grab that handrail, it'll be nice and firm. All right, where a baseboard goes and meets into a door trim, we add this little block right here to make sure the end of the baseboard nails into a solid block of wood. All right, here's this curtain rod blocking here. If you've ever tried to install one and find that you're just drilling through drywall, you would wish you had some of this. I have a ceiling fan mounted in the center of this vaulted ceiling. Since there's no flat area for the base to mount to, we built this built-up blocking to have a nice flat surface. In this case, we had to mount blocking before we could even mark the center location of this fan before I could make the blocking for the fan to hang on. Blocking for speaker mounts. Awesome, that's a wrap on our blocking. Thanks for watching our video today. We'll see you next time. <laughs> By the way, I noticed that my truck has got some rusty brake lines. Oh, that's safe. When I when they pulled the battery out and I saw some of them, I was like, oh, shoot. I need to get that fixed right away. Yeah.